Hello, welcome to the news broadcast daily and following today's highlights. The 13th National Assembly closes its fourth session after deciding a number of crucial issues and passing nine important bills. The 7th Congress of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha gets underway with the participation of more than 1,000 delegates. The Vietnam-Japan Joint Initiative has helped Vietnam improve economic development policies after 10 years of implementation. The 13th National Assembly closed its fourth session in Hanoi on November 23rd after deciding a number of crucial issues and passing nine important bills. The closing ceremony was attended by Party General Secretary Nguyen Phu Chao, among others. In his closing remarks, National Assembly Chairman Nguyen Sinh Hung said the live television and radio broadcast for almost all activities in the section's working agenda makes the performance of state agencies and employees more open and transparent to the public. He said that 2013 is a transitional year for the country to begin a new development phase with new requirements for economic growth and solving social problems. The deputy unanimously defied overall goals for the year that will provide a foundation for the country to grow sustainably in the coming years. The deputies passed nine bills and commanded our six others to ensure that they keep abreast with reality. Approving amendments and supplements to the law on corruption prevention and control, the deputies also agreed that the fight against corruption will be long, rough and complicated. They shared the view that amending and supplementing the 1992 constitution is crucial for the entire party and people to fortify a political legal foundation to serve the nation in the new development stage. The amendments and supplements will be made public to garner people's comments from January 2, 2013 and tabled for approval by the National Assembly by the end of the year. At this section, the deputies passed a resolution on conducting votes of confidence on officials elected or approved by the National Assembly and People's Councils. According to National Assembly Chairman Hung, the resolution constitutes an important change in the national political life and brings the people's mastery to a higher level. The 7th Congress of the Vietnam Buddhist Shanghai got underway in Hanoi on November 23rd, drawing more than 1,000 monk, nun, and local and overseas dignitary delegates. The Congress was chaired by Most Venerable Thich Phu Tuệ, Patriarch of the Vietnam Buddhist Shanghai's Patronage Council. Addressing the opening ceremony, Most Venerable Thich Chuan Thiet, Permanent Vice Chairman of the Sangha's Executive Council, reviewed the work of the Sangha during the 2007-2012 term. He said the Sangha has established its chapters in 58 Arab 63 cities and provinces nationwide with eight new provincial ones. The Vietnamese Buddhist sects also appear in many countries, including the Czech Republic, Poland, Germany, Hungary, Ukraine, and Russia. The Sangha has carried out many humanitarian activities, including organizing classes for disadvantaged children, building homes for the elderly, and other humanitarian services. It has raised thousands of billions in Dong over the past five years. Speaking at the event, Deputy Prime Minister Nguyen Xuân Phúc said, with 2,000 years of tradition, the Buddhist Sangha has made great contributions to national construction and protection. He expressed his hope that the Sangha will continue to live on in the hearts and minds of the Vietnamese people and remain an important link for overseas Buddhist followers who want to contribute to building and developing the country. He presented the Congress with a laudatory banner, embroidered with the words, Vietnam Buddhism, protecting the nation, relieving the people. The two-day Congress will adopt the 2012-2017 Working Plan, plus the fifth revision to the Sangha's Charter, honor outstanding members of the Patronage Council, and elect a new Executive Council for the seventh tenure.
The Ministry of Public Security reviewed the five-year implementation of a prime ministerial decree on terrorism prevention. Prime Minister Nguyen Đình Dung attended the event in Hanoi on November 22nd. The meeting held reports conversing terrorism prevention work from 2007 to 2012 by ministries, sectors or localities nationwide. Prime Minister Nguyen Đình Dung praised anti-terrorism achievements, particularly recorded by the People's Police and the People's Army. He said that they have routed all hostile forces, terrorists and sabotage schemes and activities targeting the revolutionary cause of the Vietnamese people. He also pointed out advantages, risks and challenges to the fight against terrorism in particular and the national construction and defense in the coming time. Mr. Zhu asked the ministries, agencies and localities to continue thoroughly grasping and implementing the decree, considering it a central task closely connected to their interested political duties. They should be ready to deal with every threat while building a specialized force that can cope with all possibilities, he added. The government leader asked the ministries, agencies and localities to help people understand the major challenges to national defense in the new situation, such as terrorism, sabotage and political riots. He reminded official forces of the need to preventing e-criminals that use information technology and Internet to sabotage the state and instigate violent disturbances. The Vietnam-Japan joint initiative after 10 years of implementation has helped the Vietnamese government improve economic development policies, in particular the investment environment. It was stated at a meeting to review the fourth phase of the initiative in Hanoi on November 23rd. Over the past 18 months, Vietnam has worked with the Japanese side to hold close to 40 policy talks to deal with difficulties that surfaced in the investment process. Japan has made constructive recommendations and coordinated with Vietnam to carry out joint surveys that will be used as a reference to complete laws and policies of Vietnam's functional agencies. The two sides established a macroeconomic group to make some of Vietnam's macroeconomic targets more transparent, including international receipts and expense balance and foreign currency reserves. After the first ODA package of 1.2 billion US dollars for Vietnam, Japan will decide on ODA capital for the whole year. Japan now ranks first among 96 countries and territories that have invested in Vietnam. Vietnam wants to maintain Japan's strong support in the fifth phase of the action plan. The Vietnam Military History Museum introduced to the public two national treasures, a MIG-21 jet fighter and a T-54B tank on November 23rd. We have more. The MiG-21 jet fighter was the one that shot down five U.S. aircraft, including a B-52 in December 1972. The T-54B tank, bearing the number 843, was the leading of a formation that stormed the presidential palace of the Saigon regime on April 30, 1975. These valuable items were recognized as national treasures by the Prime Minister on October 1, 2012. The museum is planning to display the two objects. November 23rd marks the 90th birthday anniversary of the late Prime Minister Võ Văn Kiệt, also known as Sao Dân. Southern Vinh Long Province names a street after the late Prime Minister to honor him and his services to the country. The Võ Văn Kiệt Street in Vinh Long Province, where Mr. Kiệt was born, is five kilometers long. It constitutes local people's tribute to the late Prime Minister, who is a loyal communist fighter, an excellent student of President Ho Chi Minh, and a reputed leader of Vietnam. Mr. Kia started participating in revolutionary activities at the age of 16. During his life, he went on to serve in many important positions in both the party and government. In March 1988, he was appointed as acting state president and the chairman of the minister's council and the prime minister. Vietnam's socio-economic achievements in the early stage of the renewal process, launched in 1986, have been heavily attributed to his contributions.
while Banquet was proactive in opening Vietnam's door to the outside world. And this is the end of our news today. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.